News 13 is your local election headquarters tomorrow. It's the big day, finally <laughs> here, election day. News 13's Taylor Moresco is outside a polling location now. She spoke with Horry County's Registration and Elections Director about what voters can expect as they head into the polls tomorrow. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Melissa and Aaron. Sandy Martin, the Registration and Elections Director, told me that where I am right now at Ocean View Education Center is one of the busiest polling locations in the county. And in just about 24 hours from now, it's going to be bustling with eager voters. It'll be a busy day across the country as voters head to the polls tomorrow. And that's no exception here in Horry County. It appears it's going to be a very busy day. Um, if early voting is any indication, we're looking for a busy day Tuesday. Early voting has been going strong the past two weeks. Horry County came in with the second highest early voter count in the state. Well over 40,000. I think we're pretty close to 45,000 now, which is awesome. And election day voting isn't any different than the early voting process. You'll go in, present your ID, they'll check you in on the um, poll pad, then you'll go to the machine, vote, and you'll be finished. What will be different, there will be many more polling locations on Election Day, and some are busier than others. 124 versus 7. The ones on the south end, Merle's Inlet area, are typically the biggest. Here are some things you should know before you go. Make sure you're registered, know your polling place, bring your photo ID, and do your research before you get there. Martin's little piece of advice for new voters, leave your phones behind. You're not allowed to do any filming inside of the precinct, so... Um, we encourage you not to have your cell phones out um, because you're not allowed to take any pictures, especially of your ballot. And that's illegal. The polls will open in just about 24 hours from right now. Now, Martin says if you need any extra clarification before you head to the polls, go ahead to scvotes.gov. Reporting live in Myrtle Beach, Taylor Maresca, News 13.